Good morning kids. Today we will start a new chapter. Chapter 3. Taking care of our environment. Here in page number 19 you can see picture of Zayan and Agatha. They are walking home from their school. In the next picture you can see Zayan throwing the peel of banana on the road. Kids, is it a good habit of throwing garbage on road? No. Throwing garbage on road is not a good habit. In the next picture you can see Agada makes him understand that we live in a society which we share with other people. So we must keep it neat and clean. She also makes him understand the healthy practice of throwing garbage in the dustbin. Now here there is a question. The question is what do you do to keep your surroundings clean? You have to write the steps in your notebook with proper date. Even you have to mention the chapter name, chapter number, page. You have to write the questions also. Now let's move to page number 20. Here you can see a small diagram which shows environment, pollution, types of pollution and ways to reduce it. We will discuss it in detail. Now let's move to environment. Whatever we see around us is environment like plants, animals, water, air, buildings, mountain, human beings, these all are part of environment. It is a basic life support system. We must keep it clean to lead a healthy life. Now let's discuss about pollution. The introduction of contamination into the environment in the form of chemical compounds or any energy like noise, heat, light that cause harm or discomfort to human or any other living organism is known as pollution. The harmful materials are called pollutants. Now here you can see the pollutants are added to the environment to various human activities like throwing of garbage, smoke due to the burning of garbage, the waste water that is directed into the river, ponds or so on and then the smoke from different vehicles. So these are some human activities which leads to pollution. There are four types of pollution. First air pollution, land pollution, noise pollution and water pollution. First we will discuss air pollution. When harmful gases, dust particles, fumes, smokes are introduced into the air, they cause air pollution. Here in the picture you can see the smoke from factories, smoke from burning garbage, bursting crackers, they produce smoke and the smoke from different vehicles. They all increase the air pollution and it is very difficult to breathe in this atmosphere. It leads to sickness. Now let us discuss the second pollution. This is water pollution. When harmful things such as garbage or waste is introduced into the water, they cause water pollution. Here you can see garbage on the river or ponds, then the waste water released from factories. These all cause harm to the living organisms in this water bodies. Drinking this dirty water makes us sick. Now let's move to the next pollution. Land pollution. We all know that we use land for farming and for building houses. Here in this picture you can see throwing of garbage in an area that pollutes the whole land. Even using chemical fertilizers makes the soil less fertile and unfit for growing crops. Now next pollution is noise pollution. Before that what is noise? A noise is an unpleasant sound that distracts us and too much of noise disturbs body and mind. This is called noise pollution. Here in the picture you can see loud sounds from these loudspeakers, then sound from bursting of cracker, 
then the horn from various vehicles such as car, trucks and so on. So these were some features of pollution. Now there is a life skill activity in your textbook page number 22. The question is you must have seen people blowing horns loudly outside your school. You have to share with your parents at least one way in which you can make them understand. You have to note it down in your notebook with proper date. Kids, we should be aware of the harmful effects of pollution and we must study the steps to reduce it. Now let's discuss them one by one. First, steps to reduce air pollution. Use as little electricity, petrol and cooking gas as possible. You can use alternative source of energy like solar panels. You have to turn off the lights and appliances when not in use. Traveling by public transport and make less use of private cars and motorbikes. Even using carpool system is a good idea to reduce air pollution. Do not waste paper and plant more and more trees. Trees keep the atmosphere clean and healthy. They absorb the harmful carbon dioxide gas and release oxygen which is, which is essential for us. Next, using filters for chimneys at home or factories. Then, reduction of forest fire, smoke, burning of crackers, burning of garbage. With these steps, we can reduce the air pollution. Now let's discuss some of the steps to reduce land pollution. First one, do not litter your surrounding. You should keep it clean. Plant more and more trees because the roots of the tree hold the soil very tightly and save it from erosion. Next, Use only natural fertilizers for your plant because using of chemical fertilizers makes the soil less fertile. Next, avoid the use of plastic bags because dumping of plastic bags increase the toxic level of soil. Next, we have to follow the three R's that is reduce waste, reuse goods and recycle things. Instead of throwing garbage here and there, we can use our own compost at home. So these were some of the steps to reduce land pollution. Next, we'll see ways to reduce water pollution. The first one, do not throw garbage into rivers, lakes or on the sea beach. Do not throw oils and paints directly into the sink at home. Do not wash clothes in river or pools. Use phosphate free detergents and dish cleaners because this phosphate is very harmful chemical that harms the living organism living in this water bodies. Next, the waste water from the factories should not be directed into the rivers, ponds or so on. Now let us see the ways to reduce noise pollution. Avoid blowing horns unless necessary. Avoid using loudspeakers in outdoor parties. Next, do not burst crackers. Next, regular servicing and tuning of automobiles. It helps in reducing the noise pollution. Machines in factories should be noise proof and the factories should be set up away from the residential area. So, these were some of the steps to reduce the different types of pollution. Now, there is an activity for you. You have to send a voice clip defining pollution, types of pollution and ways to reduce it. Thank you.